Hello, brothers and sisters of the Briar. Professor Jeremiah here. I'm at the Briary in Homewood, Alabama, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity for you just to see some of the store. You can see some of the display cases behind me. A uh, lot of pipes here. I mean, as I've talked to other people, they've never been to a pipe store that has as many pipes as this. And let me introduce you to Aubrey here. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Aubrey. Aubrey works here at the Briary. And I guess you've been here a little over a year, haven't you? Yeah, right up on a year uh, since last September. Okay, all right. Well, I, Aubrey's got some new pipes in, and I just wanted you to take a look at them. I mean, as you see, I mean, there's, there is, these are their basket pipes, and some of them are just incredible. I guess some of the briar on these basket pipes are... It's about 60 years old. Okay, so 60-year-old briar on a basket pipe. You really don't get better than that. And I mean, some of these prices, I mean, here's a $45 one. Uh, what you even have some, some, some thirty dollar ones there, over on the other side, and some fifties over here. We've got them anywhere you're looking, you know, thirty and up. So pretty good wide range. But show some of the higher end pipes that you got. So I've got some pretty interesting things for us. Um, on a closeout deal from one of our distributors, we got some new Talamonas. And what's pretty interesting about these Talamonas usually sit about you know in your mid range pricing. But these, as you can check out the grain work on them and silver bands on the stem, and one of the more interesting things is you have a bare bowl right there, which a lot of the pipe smokers, you know, is kind of coveted because you can taste the briar on your first smoke. What I like about these is Pablo Croce started this probably about in the 80s, and uh, this is probably his best batch that he's done. We've been really proud of this number right here. Now, what's that pipe running? These are running right at about $90, and we've got, I'd say, upwards of 40 of them. Like I said, we bought out a huge amount from a closeout deal. They're probably going to be a while before you see these distributed in the U.S. Now, now, can we find that one on the website? Oh, yeah. We have all of our Talamonas marked on the website. Um, you just go to thebriary.com under Italian Pipes, and you click on Talamona, and we've got them all there numbered. Look at that. That grain is just gorgeous. It is. That's those an grain incredible out there. grain. Great band. Oh yeah. Show us what else you got. So, a little bit more of a rare note, we've got some new Fern Downs in. And what's interesting about Fern Down is this is his last batch. He uh, just retired last week. One of the more interesting things about Les Wood, who's the carver for Fern Down, is he was Dunhill Silversmith, if you can tell by all the silver that you see on these pipes. Most of his are spigots. They all have different silver bands and such. But he's probably, in my opinion, one of the best English carvers that we have right now. Like I said, he started out as a Dunhill silversmith. They eventually, uh, you know, put a kaput on their silver department and sold him all the equipment, and then he started making his own. He named him Fern Down after his estate that he lives in. And his wife, Dolly, helped him make the stems for a now, long what's, time. What's one like this, Ron? You're looking at probably 575 on this one, and the, the cheapest of his run about 485 one of the more interesting things about Fern Down Pipes is he's one of the last people that do oil curing, which Dunhill pioneered back in the 80s, maybe early 70s. But um, what's pretty fantastic about that is it makes the pipe break in ready. It gives it this nutty flavor immediately off the bat, and it makes it so that you don't have to do that 20 smokes to break in a pipe. You could do it in 5 to 10, really. But yeah, that's one of the better parts of the Fern Downs. This is my favorite brand of pipe, easily. Now, what else do you got? And on my last bit, we have a Northern Briar Helix. Oh, yeah, you weren't supposed to show that one. I've been interested in that one for a while. Look, I know you like this one. <laughs> you need to go ahead and pick it up because the Helix is part of a kind of his short artisan uh, pipes. Now, all of his pipes are handmade, handmade stem, handmade bowl. Uh, the Northern Briar name started out, uh, his, the grandfather worked for Dunhill, the father, you know, owned it, and then... Ian Walker himself, who's the carver for Northern Briar now, was the grandson, and he dropped out of high school and started off just sweeping up the shot. Finally, he got into repairing pipes and then moved further on into carving. As you can see, his carving's top-notch with this beautiful spiral, and it matches up perfect with that brindle stem. Um, what's really interesting about the Northern Briars is that the guy carves them on a barge on the River Thames. You know, what he does is he moves from place to place from port to port before he has to pay property taxes and it keeps his pipes at an affordable price are you supposed to say that he like, advertises I mean, now it. you're I'm like you're like helping it. it you know you're helping the law get him aren't you you know i don't <laughs> even know if the uk really even understands about this guy 
what they understand. So the if you're from the UK, don't share this with any people in authority. <laughs> what's the what's the IRS like in the UK? What do they call it there? Does it matter? Debtor's prison. <laughs> But yeah, sure. these they run anywhere from the base price of uh, 150 up to about 315. But most of his pipes sitting in that mid price range. Now Aubrey's got a, a personal pipe that he's smoking, and this is kind of a unobtainable pipe in that it's a it's a new concept. So it's one that I'm hoping I can get one of uh, eventually, and maybe some of the others out there will. Tell us a little bit about your personal pipe here. He's got a relight. I'm smoking my Amarelli, and this is Cary Grant, which I'm smoking in it right now. Great, great smoke. So the most interesting thing about this is uh, the owner of the shop, Skip Elliott, has been making pipes for a very, very long time, uh, since 98. Uh, What's pretty interesting is we all know the woods that pipes come in. You have briar, you can get morta, some people use strawberry, bog oak, um, meerschaum, clay. One of the lesser known ones is orange osage. It was kind of a shrub tree-like thing that they used to use back before barbed wire in order to keep uh, pastures fenced in. But they're also such a dense wood that they're perfect, as you can see the grain in it. Uh, they're perfect for uh, heat resistance and they're perfect for pipes. One of the most interesting things is they start out with this very bitter taste and then it moves into this almost syrupy honey sweetness each, subsistent, uh, each subsequent uh, puff after the fourth bowl. It's really amazing. It, it's key for Now Virginia's. do you still have bitterness now or that's gone? Oh, it's way gone. Now it, it's almost like I put sugar in my bowl when I smoke like a natural Virginia. You know, any one of McClellan's great. Now let's get a, let's get a look. Uh, Joe, who's the store manager here, Kind of the grand poobah running everything. Um, Joe, show us yours. It's... Mine's the uh, natural version of the one Aubrey just told you about. Uh, it's the orange sage carved by Mr. Elliot. Drilling on these pipes is fantastic. There are very few that are going to smoke better or as well as this one. The wood is, gonna, is darkening nicely there. You can see it. And uh, it, it's a fantastic smoking pipe. Now, what are you smoking in your bowl right now? Right now we're smoking uh, PS41, pewter cut right there. Known really, as Highland Dell here. Known as Highland Dell here, that's right. Yes, the uh, cube cut really like about it, it's very natural tobacco. It's got a burly base with a little bit of Virginia and some unflavored Cavendish. Makes it really easy to pack with the cube cut. I'm really enjoying it. Now can you get that online too? Uh, not yet. We just got that shipment of Fern Downs in. Just got that posted to the website, and then we'll swoop okay. back around. So you can see this is a great store. Uh, it's in a house that is, what, over 100 years old? Made in 1899 is when it was first built. Okay. It's just a farmhouse. So just an old farmhouse, and the city's built up around this area. Try to get some light here. Mm -hmm. Now, you were saying earlier with yours, you'd pretty much only smoke in English in it. I think you were saying because of the sweetness. I smoke burley in mine. Really absorbs a, a lot of that sweetness to it. Kind of cuts the edge off of it a little bit. So mellows out that, that sweetness flavor. Because the burley tobaccos don't have the natural sweetness that the Virginias do. While we're going around, let's uh, hit a customer up here. Uh, Andre, tell us a little bit about what you're smoking. I am smoking a premium aromatic that you told me about. And it is really good. I'm really glad you told me about it. It smokes really good. I'm smoking it out of, out of a Chacon. Now, how do you like that pipe? It's pretty good. It's that's, probably not as nice as their pipe. That's really got a great grain on it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really a nice pipe. This year, sharp looking. Now, how long have you had that pipe? Probably a year, right? About a year. About you know a what's year. interesting about Chacons is they were the first in Briar Pipes, the first company. Now, I'm not blowing anything like with you on witness protection or anything I was putting no. this video <laughs> up. So it's, it's okay to put this up, right? It's perfectly fine. You've come off of witness protection Yeah, now. I'm done with all of that. Okay, okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure we were in the clear there. I'm done with all of that. You should show some of those, all these tobaccos in here. They have more pipe tobacco than anybody. Got our bulks over here and our tins on the wall. Now, it's rumored every now and then 
you get some esoterica in as well, don't you? Every now and again, but it's got to be the right moon phase, and you have to kind of have danced on the right <laughs> leg to get it uh, to get it to come in. So if you were answering the phone right now, you would answer by saying, "No stone Haven or pins ants right now." <laughs> okay, that's pretty much just. We really need to make it our answering machine at this point because it's a fairly frequent question. All right, brothers and sisters, the briar. Just I uh, thought I'd bring you around. They also have a nice sitting room, and I'll take a picture of that and put it on at the end here. Uh, God bless. Thank you.